Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jared, and I am the Director of Network Security for IEPS Security Services. And what this screencast will focus on today is, is how to create an L2TP IPsec VPN connection from your local computer to one of our remote servers. There are no special requirements for this, uh, although this screencast will show instructions based on a Windows 7 Ultimate computer, but the instructions are pretty much the same for Windows XP, Windows Vista, uh, and everything else in between. Uh, the only difference is, is the tabs might be in different places or in different orders on your machine. But this is being done with a normal Windows 7 Ultimate uh, computer, nothing special to it. Um, so here we go. Okay, after you receive the instructional email from us that will contain all of your account information, you can follow the guide either in that set of instructions or you can watch this screencast that will quickly show you what the manual tutorial is talking about. Uh, I know from personal experience that uh, seeing is a lot easier than reading a step-by-step a -step tutorial and trying to complete a process that you may have never done before or have never even heard about. Uh, so with the concept of sight is always the best, we will carry on with this screencast. Okay, after you receive that instructional email, these are the following steps you need to take to create a successful L2TP VPN connection. The first thing you're going to want to do, uh, Windows 7 has a lot of shortcuts, which we will go through here, uh, that Windows XP and Windows Vista may not have had. Okay. First thing we want to do is open our network and sharing center. Okay, so this is what we come up with. Now, what we want to do is click on set up a new connection or network. Okay, now what we're trying to do here is we want to click on connect to a workplace because that is where our VPN connection resides on our local computer. So we highlight that and we select next. Now, do you want to use a connection that you already have? The default is already selected for you, which is no, create a new connection. Make sure that this is always checked, and then select next. Okay? How do you want to connect? Use my internet connection, VPN. Yes, because this is exactly what we are creating. We never want to select dial directly. Okay, so once we click, this is what we come up with. Now, for the internet address, we can either do this in two different ways. We can either use a server's name, or we can use an IP address. In this example, we will use an IP address. Now, the actual server's IP address that you will be assigned to will be contained in your welcome email that you received from us. So what you see in this screencast is just an example. Okay, Our typical internet address in this example would look like this. Okay, The destination name, this can be a name of your choosing. It can be anything that will help you remember what VPN connection you're using. Now, what I like to tell people to use is the server name followed by the location and the protocol type, although this isn't necessary. You can name it anything you want to name it. In this example, we will call this ABC VPN Server, and this will serve as our example server. Okay. Once we have these two key pieces of information in there, the next thing we want to do is go down to this bottom box and select do not connect now just set it up so I can connect later and then we hit next now our username and our password are also contained in the email that we sent you 
and it is time for us to put that information in. So find it on your end in that instructional uh, email that we have sent you and place that information in here now. Okay, once this pertinent information is filled in, then we select remember this password. Now keep in mind, we only want the computer to remember the password and the username if we are on our personal computers. If you are trying to set this up on a public computer, a library computer, uh, a university computer, or somewhere that it's in a public location, you do not want to save the username and the password, and it's a bad idea to put this information on those computers to begin with. Okay, so always remember to only use your VPN account on a computer you own. Okay, once that is done, we click Create. Okay, now it says this connection is ready for use. Okay, now what we want to do is we hit the Close button, because that is only part of our setup. Okay, now we want to go back and we find our VPN server that we've just created. Okay, so it has the username already preset in there. The password is already pre-saved. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to hit the Properties button. Okay, there's a few things that we can modify in here uh, to produce the best operational uh, capacity that we can get from our VPN server and also to provide stability and the type of security our VPN server supports. Okay, so the first thing you want to look at is the options tab. All of this is fine. All of these are fine. What you want to do is go into the PPP settings and you want to make sure that all three boxes are ticked. Then we select OK, and now we click on the Security tab, and our type of VPN will be Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol with IPsec. This is your L2TP connection. Once this is selected, then we select the Advanced Settings button. In this, we highlight or tick the Use Pre-Shared Key for Authentication. Now the pre-shared key is in your welcome email. Uh, we have provided that for you and this would be the place to put that in. So for an example, you would go ahead and put that in. I'm just putting some gibberish here just uh, for the example here. But you would put yours in exactly as that instructional email has stated. Now. Capitalized characters, lowercase characters, and numbers do make a difference. So if what you see is a capitalized letter or a lowercase letter, you have to put that in exactly. If it's not there or you don't see it, don't just put whatever you think goes in this box because your authentication when you try and connect to the server will fail. So it's very, very important that you put in this box exactly what your instructional email says to put. So, once that is done, we select OK, and we want to go down here, and we want to uncheck the Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, because that is not a protocol we use. Uh, what we will use in this case is the Microsoft CHAP version 2. And this should be the only box that's checked. Once that is done, we select OK. Now we have completed the setup. The next thing we do, we hit Connect. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you for watching this screencast, and I hope you've learned something today. Thank you.